So let's look at the molecular geometry for H2SO4. We'll be looking at the geometry from the perspective of the central sulfur atom here. According to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, all of the atoms or groups of atoms attached to that central sulfur are going to spread out and be as far away from each other as possible. When they do that, they're going to look like this. You can see in the center we have the sulfur, the oxygens are in red, and then the hydrogens are white. So at the center we have the sulfur, and you can see how the atoms have spread out. That's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. If we didn't know that just from looking, we couldn't visualize it, we could use the AXN notation to figure out the molecular geometry or shape for H2SO4. A, that's the sulfur. X, that's the number of atoms or groups of atoms attached to the sulfur. We have the two oxygens and we have the two OH groups. So we have four things attached to that central sulfur. And that's the non-bonding electron pairs. All of the electron pairs for sulfur are involved in chemical bonds, so we can just forget about N. You could have memorized that AX4 is a tetrahedral molecular geometry, or if you have one, you could look it up in a table. So as we go down our table, we see AX2, AX3, and there is AX4, and that is a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And the bond angles are about 109.5 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry for H2SO4, and for the bond angles, let's go back to our three-dimensional picture here. The 109.5 that we're talking about is the bond angle here, or you can see there's a bond angle there. We have kind of the same thing here and over here, so and on the back side as well. So the bond angles we're talking about 109.5 degrees, and remember we're really doing this from the perspective of that central sulfur atom. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for H2SO4. Thank you for watching.